I had to use one word to describe Jake Handron, I would probably use hum. Friend. He's really always just happy. Like, you expect, like, some time for him to just be kind of, like, down to himself, but he's never like that. He'll always, he sees you, gives you a heads up. There's hey, never that up? moment. And there's never a moment where it's like you see him just walk by without most of it. He's always, he's always saying hi to his friends or even people he doesn't even know. Just, it's always, he's always saying yeah. Hi. People doesn't even know. It's always just like a, you could guarantee that they're gonna have a conversation about who knows what. And you can really see that he can touch the lives of others just simply by saying hi. And um, I think as his girlfriend, I always get, oh, your boyfriend's so nice. He just, he says hi to me every single time when we're walking down the street. And uh, you can tell that it really lights someone's day up with just a simple smile and a wave and a hello that they really feel a little bit more important. So um, I think that's just really awesome. I went to a Catholic high school, Blanchett Catholic in Salem. Back in the day, I was uh, 145 pounds going into my freshman year of high school and I was, uh, I was a running back, I was pretty fast. Um, I like to think so at least. And uh, I came in, you know, not really caring that I was younger, that everybody just um, trying to prove that I could play with anybody. And uh, I came in and started running the ball and I don't know, the older guys didn't really like it that much. And I specifically remember, you know, this was, this was within like the first week of practice. It, we had pads on at this point, but uh, I, I, I was on the scout team, you know, against the starting defense and I made this sweet cut and got to the edge and just accelerated. It was nice, made up the sideline for like a 40 yard gain. And as I was trotting back, you know, to uh, get back in the huddle, um, I, one of the bigger guys on our team, I'm not gonna name names, but uh, he just came over, like, just sideswiped me and just decked me right into the, the uh, what do you want? To, not uh, the water fountain, I guess. And uh, yeah, right there, I was like, I was looking to cut, like, coach, did you see that or anything? And no, and then I knew right there, I was like, all right, well, this is, uh, this is gonna be as fun as I thought it was, but um, I don't know, it's just, I think, I think it made me tougher and uh, you know it, it was hard for me you know and there were other kids kids in my class especially that weren't friendly to me and they you know they pick on me in class and you know and it's, it's easy to get down and give up and you know be, become self-conscious and uh, you almost give up on yourself. Even though he was bullied at the time he went out of his way to befriend someone um, who actually was um, depressed at the time and a little bit um, suicidal and he didn't really feel like he fit in. He didn't really have any friends at school but Jake like made a point to be his friend and um, it was really special because our junior and senior year of high school I really got to see that he turned this kid's life around. So even though Jake might not have been like in a super happy place with other people at the time or have been bullied, he took one of his now really good friends and he kind of turned his life around and made him see that life is really great and that he can have friends. And um, I just think that was really, really cool that he was able to reach out like that to someone else who's going through a little bit similar things to him. There's a lot of invisible people in your life. Not that they're literally invisible, but I mean, people you pay no heed to during the day, and uh, a lot of times, just saying hello can turn a whole day around. You just gotta be there, who, 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 no matter who it is. And I mean, that stranger might be having a really tough day, something's going on in their family, or they're not sure about themselves, and just saying hello means that there's people out there in the world that can help them through that. And uh, just be a helping hand, I guess. Cheer them up. Be a smiling face. I mean, it's it's a little act of kindness, but it can mean a lot sometimes. Uh. You look you look strong. You need them? Huh? You need them? No, no, no. You look good. You look good. That's all you. That's all you.